Hi. This is a new tool for SketchUp that is called Concrete Frame Tool and you access it or its icons from going to View Toolbars and click on Concrete Frame Tools and somewhere on your desktop will occur these two icons. Obviously since I've installed it they already appear directly here in the toolbar. And what you get now if you click on the main tool here con for concrete framing let me just drag in a picture showing what is going to occur. By default you'll see a dialog box coming out and it will tell you by default the dimensions of this particular frame, concrete frame, 16 feet by 16 feet by 10 feet high. The columns are 1 foot by 1 foot and there is a beam depth of 1 foot 4 and a slab of 6 inches. You can see I've denoted the various dimensions here uh, on the screen and then the second screen comes up and it tells you well how many of these repetitive concrete units do I want to uh, include and in this particular case I just refer to as I want one in the X and one in the Y so it gave me one unit so the beauty of this particular tool is of course that since these are repetitive elements uh, I can put any number in here and I will end up with a structural system okay so let's build something let me drag in a picture to see what we want to build just so you can get a visual idea uh, let's start with a single uh, underground building, basement, if you like, uh, three foot by three foot uh, array of bays, 16 by 16 feet. And in order to do that, we need to do some additional, use some additional features in the uh, second dialog box which contains that we're going to add some footings, we're going to add a foundation wall and we're going to add an exterior wall. Alright, so let me just drop that aside and let's actually do that. So here we are, we've got our 16 by 16, we've got all our heights, everything's identified, taking the defaults and here we've chosen to have three by three foot in terms of the number of bays and we're going to say yes and we're going to say yes and we're going to say yes to the first three items so we're going to say all right and uh, we're going to drop it into place here let's just uh, zoom in and uh, since it's above grade right now let's drop it below grade and uh, resume and put in x-ray mode and there we are we have our building just like I just showed you and one of the other interesting features it's important in SketchUp to keep everything on its own layers and what I've done here in this particular instance everything that you use here is drawn an individual layer so for example let's, let's get rid of x-ray mode let's say if I want to get rid of the concrete walls on the perimeter there they are I just turned them off. Uh, I can turn off the uh, foundation slab so now I'm looking at the footings. Uh, I can go further. I can uh, get rid of the beams. You know sometimes the buildings are built uh, structurally without beams these days so they'll just have uh, flat slabs and columns that carry the loads. Uh, so you have a bunch of uh, design issues that can be and of course I can also delete the top slab. So let's continue on now 
and build the first floor but before we do so let's uh, take our whole foundation and create a new layer and we'll call it uh, FDN foundation for short and we're going to place all of the stuff onto the, our new foundation layer so if I now click it it's invisible there we are I like that and now we can continue on and build our first floor so on our first floor we're going to make the building the same size as the foundation right now number of bays is the same uh, we don't need footings uh, we don't need a, a slab because we have the slab already and uh, we don't need concrete walls uh, but we might want to use some uh, spandrel beam yes and we want to have some window mullions and we're going to have some windows and so yes and then we'll go okay and uh, let's just drop that into place check to make sure that it's correctly lined up with the plan before yes it is that's kind of great and let's immediately, since it's all been selected, create another layer. And we'll call this the one, the 1ST first F-L-O-O-R, first floor. Okay, first floor, everything selected, and we'll identify it as the first floor. So now we have the first floor nicely identified on this particular layer. All right, so now that we've got the second floor identified, uh, I should say first floor, uh, as you can see, it's on or off. But uh, more importantly, I can uh, say, turn off my foundation slab because I'm not interested in that at the moment. And I can turn off the uh, ceiling structure. And I could go a little bit further and just show my columns. This way I can uh, start designing interior elements within this room and that's where the second part of concrete uh, uh, framing tools comes in. It's called concrete add-ons and I can add a number of elements here. I can add certain external elements. Uh, I've identified some of them. Uh, an X uh, glass walls so on let's let's for example go with a wall or a slab well if i'm going to put a say i need to have a wall in here well i can just drag the wall six inch wall across there or i can put another one across here there we go and i can build my insides quite nicely i can put the uh concrete framing back on and I can put my top floor back on and I might decide that uh, that particular location might be an opening uh, for a stair for the next floor so I can now uh, make a structural decision to delete these particular uh, elements I might throw in a spanner beam in the outside to pick up the loads on these particular uh, uh, structural members and so on and uh, and then in addition of course I can uh, I can now uh, turn my foundation floor back on turn uh, turn off my my main floor and you see I wasn't quite uh, happy with what I did there so these walls I can add them back to my first floor and I can now do the same thing in the basement. I can just remove the columns and I can put in parking spaces and so on and uh, further develop that floor independently of, of my first floor. As you can see, it gets a little bit cluttered uh, if, if I don't stay organized in, in my building structure. Okay, so here we are, we've designed, or I should say, I've designed this four-story building, um, but I didn't take into consideration 
the uh, the idea of that every floor uh, should be grouped so that you can work on it independently and you can see for example if I draw uh, take the glazing off that all of the glass turns off and uh, and so on for the columns as well doesn't really help me very much if I want to do work on individual floors as you can see uh, I should also point out that I use the uh, baluster tool that comes with the my s concrete stair tool to draw the balusters around the outside and but while we're here we can just investigate that it's uh, since all of these elements are grouped, for example, I can double-click and I can remove that sheet of glass out of there. I can also remove any column uh, that I so desire. And I can now uh, put in a door or a door frame or a louvered grill. Uh, let's say it's a, a solid grill for some purpose so I just pick up the four corners and oh nice mortar effect there we are and uh, I've got a grill say or uh, or I might want to put some mullions in to offset these windows so I can put additional mullions in to dress up the building. Again, there are some structural elements that come with uh, tools. For example, I can, might put some gr cross bracing in these corner walls. It might be related to uh, earthquakes, design considerations, and so on. And uh, and of course I can uh, create openings throughout the floors to incorporate stairs which uh, we'll have a look at next. So now you can see in this particular example I was a little bit more disciplined in my approach. Uh, I can delete the first or second floor or third floor, any of the ones that I want. Or uh, delete the top floor. I can zoom in to show some of the editing that I had to do. I, I deleted the uh, original slabs, uh, created some openings for the stairs, uh, installed uh, for my door tools a set of double doors, and, uh, and for example, uh, I could have used my slab tool here to enclose that particular opening as you can see which I don't want to do but you can see how easily you can add back things in that you deleted from the original plan I'll just go control Z out of that I dropped in my stair and so on and so forth and uh, so I think uh, you can see uh, how nice uh, this little feature might be oh there's another example perhaps I will drop in a, uh, some additional mullions into this opening. There we are. And uh, so there's a lot of flexibility with this particular uh, plugin. Thanks for listening.